since September of 82. In New England, the Help Wanted Index stood at an all-time high in October. In Northern Virginia, the volume of Help Wanted ads in 20 suburban newspapers over the past six months is up nearly 50% from last year. This Sunday's Washington Post carried 48 pages of Help Wanted ads, more than the sports and business sections combined. Of these 48 pages of Help Wanted ads, about one half were for entry-level or fairly attainable jobs. Three pages of ads for sales workers, many in entry level. 40 advertisements for openings for retail workers, 26 for roofers, 24 for plumbers, 51 for carpenters, and 16 for painters. A number of ads in the Sunday Post bore urgent messages to prospective employees, including work your way to the top, get started with us, learn while you earn, we will train you, and it's your choice. The LA Times carried 57 pages of help on ads this Sunday. Long Island employees say there's a growing shortage of young people to fill entry-level jobs in fast food restaurants and other types of businesses. The Woodward and Lothrop store at Tyson's Corner, Virginia has from 50 to 75 standing vacancies for loading dock workers, sales clerks, merchandise handlers, all in level <coughs> positions. Other retail chains face similar problems. The current unemployment rate in the District of Columbia is 8.7%. 
Officials at the University of Virginia, who have several hundred part-time jobs available, say they can't get students to take the jobs despite aggressive advertising. At Virginia Tech, the Chief Service is the biggest employer of students. About one hundred <coughs> part-time jobs are open. In Richmond, Safeway Stores Incorporated recruits senior citizens to take the hard-to-fill entry-level posts of courtesy clerks. Geez, I'm glad of that, but I have something to do. In San Francisco, Safeway works with local school systems to train physically and mentally disabled students to fill these positions. In Atlanta, New York, and a growing number of cities around the country, Burger King offers educational scholarships to lure teenagers to work in the fast food chain. Last May, a Northern Virginia parking lot paving company had jobs worth $500,000 to do, but no one to take them. In Fairfax County, the lack of workers has slowed home and swimming pool construction and has left department stores seriously understaffed. I think we ought to be able to claim we have full employment. Not quite. <laughs> you know, we're, getting, we're getting there, but not quite. I think another percentage and a half down. It becomes very difficult to pull those numbers down, Mr. President, when we pay people a lot not to work. That's, that's yes. not a difficult question. Why don't you go around that way with Scott there? Last time. Right, I've never seen this tonight. Well, that's fine. I'm going to do some What are you doing, running for next time? <laughs> they told me it's your request. Those are, the, those are the people who are supposed to come. That, that's uh, <laughs> beside the point. All I'm running that's for now is my fun. life. <laughs> well, well. I'm bouncing back, and I think she called the people. That after 60, you're through, you know. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. I appreciate you all coming up to the mansion. And that uh, really made an exciting time for the well, state. Listen, that was a, mm -hmm. that was a morale booster for me. That's it was. Yeah. A lot of support up there. Really good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry about tonight, but. This is that long time Christmas schedule. I'll be shooting 450 or 500 hands tonight. <laughs> I looked at the papers and I've been listening to the news the last couple of days. Everything has, has come up to the decision point, I think, today or tomorrow. Yeah, I'm awfully afraid on this, on this tax refund. We're going to try to work on our recovery. We, well, can't, we can't get it without the money. Well, I know that you won't. Uh, Compromise important things to push it through. Yeah, the other, the cutting the spending is important. You have to push that through and do it whatever yes. way you can. But, that, uh, but if you hang on to your program for the taxes, I think it's got you know, darn well somebody's going to find a little old widow whose taxes will be high. And they're going to put her on the smart investment and you have a team that can set the pace for a record record 1986 campaign. I've got to say though that Bob Mercer has a bit of an advantage after all he's got a lighter than air force. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 support his efforts on the ground and Jim's already 
your 1985 theme, Celebrate America, was a real winner, both in philosophy and results. When Jim Ray took over from Roger Smith last year, he pledged to exceed Roger's record, 125% of goal. And I understand that you achieved 126% of your goal. And I know that Roger won't begrudge you that, not at all. I've settled for 100% from the Congress. <laughs> <laughs> salute you all, and in particular your retiring chairman, Jim Barrett, and all the national chairmen who have served for their magnificent achievements. And I wish you, Bob Mercer, and the members of your committee all possible success. With that, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your kind remarks, Mr. President. Uh, we were here last year about this time, and uh, you had told us that uh, there was a great spirit out in the country, and I had the privilege of uh, seeing that spirit and the togetherness. And so for that, we thank you very much. I also uh, appreciate your great cooperation, as well as Secretary Regan in the beginning, and now Secretary Baker, and particularly Secretary Baker was with us today with all the things happening today, and for that, we're very grateful. And I would like to present to you our final report of our campaign. And as we stated, uh, Roger said he encouraged me to run him off the road, and we did. And uh, we've also, when now we're encouraging uh, Bob Mercer to do as well, and so with that, uh, we thank you very much for your help. Well, thank you. I look forward to looking at this. I'm picking up the challenge, uh, Mr. President, and I have a great team going for me already. You'll be happy to know that uh, Kay was already in Akron has me shaped up, so we're, we're off and running. I'd like to present to you the uh, campaign for this year, savings bonds, a great deal. We've got these three little characters on there. Somebody told me they looked like Graham Rudman and Rostankowski. It's a great program, and I'm very confident that we're going to approach and maybe exceed the two million mark. Well, that's wonderful. Well, again, I thank all of you. Uh, here for what you're doing, and I understand now that uh, unless there's someone else to be heard from. No, no? that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, then, then I have an opportunity. I'll go up to the door there and get a chance to meet each one of you, and we can have our pictures taken. And then I can assure you, if you think the picture with me will get you in trouble, just. <laughs> <laughs>